Hi all, and welcome back to the Tech and Garage channel. We're back here with Nova, and I went ahead and copied an old backup from my copy of Unreal Tournament 1999. This backup has included just about every texture, map, sound, etc. that I collected from about Christmas 2002 forward. Here I'm going to open the Unreal Tournament configuration file. And this section right here is actually using the Direct3D9 renderer rather than the standard direct 3d renderer i've also had hit or miss issues with the opengl render use at your own risk it may not be explicitly required but i find i'll copy the lines here for any potential rendering option i usually bump up this option here cache size meg by default it's way too small I don't believe I have actually updated this to account for the loss of GameSpy. We'll test it later and see if I actually need to make the change. As you can see, I've added a great deal of add-ons to the game, and each one of them needs to be declared here under Server Packages. Otherwise, you're going to have all kinds of problems in multiplayer games. Among the whole category of user content, are a couple of skins and voice packs that I have created, including one of my late friend, Mike. Keep in mind, we actually made this content before he had joined the Marines. Unfortunately, if you want to get widescreen support, or at least set it to be 720, 1440, or some other custom resolution, you're going to have to come down here and set it by hand within the configuration file. This section here is left over from when I ran it on Linux. Same here, SDL is more for the Linux port. This is not the Mac API metal, this is the other one from S3. As you can see here, I just did a copy and paste. So these settings between Direct3D and Direct3D9 are virtually identical. Although interesting to note, the string for that video card was the one I had, not the one that's currently installed. Here's the nitty gritty for setting game types. All right, let's go ahead and close down the INI file. Let's go ahead and explore inside of the system folder. Ah, yes, the bot editor. This is a helpful program. This worked in conjunction with the regular UT bot list, in addition to a mod that would give you access to a greater range of customizable bots. As you can see here, I kind of went a little apeshit with additional models and skins, and this makes it easy to customize them without having to load them in-game. I'll show you later how much slower it is when using the game's bot editor. There were two models that Mike and I never used in either of our bot lists. Uh, one of them was a, like a Japanese shrine maiden, the other was the Abby Chase model. This way we knew exactly who each other were. Both of us found the Nolly War Cow extremely amusing when that came out as, as a part of, I forget which, exactly which bonus pack. Kind of used this to surreptitiously make fun of certain members of our family. Yeah, 
I think I might leave this one alone. Ah, there's still vestiges of the Send to UT mod that I put in once. I guess we'll give Alexis a shot. Huh, wow, 2004. I thought it was earlier. And of course, we need a module tracker here to be able to play back the Unreal Tournament music files. And here's the remnants of Napali expansion for the original Unreal. Uh, you'll see a bit more of that later. Let's go ahead and launch the game. That is not the Unreal Tournament music. At one point, I got a wild hair to change it to the One Must Fall menu theme. Also, the background was replaced with the Chaos UT background. Also a favorite mod of mine and Mike's. You'll notice there are significantly more options on the menu here. This is a result of the incomplete, marginally enhanced UT menu mod, which added in many other features. Uh, the same author also made up a mod called Old School Amped, which shares a bit of components here and there with this same menu mod. At least that's my understanding. Here's their little about page. I don't know if they're still active or if there's been any other releases, although I would love to see any updates that they may have. One of the extra features they added in was single player mod support, in this case playing the original Unreal Tournament episode, Napali, and here we can just view the flyby and get a taste of nostalgia. That you don't remember it looking that good. I think we'll stop it here and back to the single player experience. Of course we have the original Unreal, then there's also Napali, which was a, a user-made episode, not official. Then there's these things I guess I downloaded, I don't really recall. And of course the Return to Napali expansion. Patched it for the lack of game spy functionality. Hmm. Looks like I didn't. Oh well, something to take care of later. Here, just in case you weren't comfortable editing the INI file, you can always go here in the menu, and then it will drop you to windowed mode and give you this advanced configuration and then from here you can set each of the options. One of the more ridiculous things I've added to this menu here, adding to its comical length, would be this. You could play Tetris from within Unreal Tournament. Because reasons. Don't judge me. Alright, enough of this. 
this silliness. Let's go ahead and open the Xbots configuration. This corresponds to that earlier bot editor that we were working with outside of the tournament. And here we see Mike's head. I added on Mike's face to this night skin that somebody made. And of course, here's Abby, the bottle he actually used, complete with late 90s jiggle physics. Our favorite alcohol drinking, car smoking robot, and the cow. The... I usually kept this default skin. I think you agree as to why. Alright, let's see the quality of the Lexus model. Oh. Well. Yeah. Alright, moving on. This is one of the original, and I think it's held up pretty well considering it's over 20 years old. Alright, let's get out of here and close this down. Pretty sure you're tired of hearing the original menu music. Actually, on second thought, why don't I give you guys a playthrough of the original game? With my extra bullshit mods, of course.
cut it short here at one capture. Next time, we're going to do some more games. I think we'll throw into the mix possibly some American McGee's Alice, some StarCraft, and Diablo 2, not resurrected, the OG. Till then, have a great day.